WPBF 25 and are really talking about drug and alcohol abuse right here in our area. Joining me now to talk about all the resources available for recovery here in South Florida is John Dipen, the clinical director from the Hanley Center right here in our own backyard. Such a great resource. But um, John, if we can talk about first, we've talked a lot today about the opioid epidemic that we're facing right here. What are you guys seeing? We're, we're seeing exactly the the numbers that are everybody's you know putting the numbers out there. Mm -hmm. It's the leading cause of accidental death in the United States today. In 2014, we saw 47,000 people die from drug overdoses. So day in and day out, we're seeing at Hanley Center people of all ages from all walks of life coming in the doors addicted to opiates, and, and a lot of them, if not most of them, addicted to prescription opiates. And the key is to remember that it is not just when we think about drug addiction in our country a lot of times we think about young people but it's not just young people there are eight to ten million people over the age of 65 who are struggling with some sort of substance use disorder so it it hits all ages and it hits people who might stand among us each day people who are actually holding down a job That's people who um, you know make good money are living in the nice upscale neighborhoods it's there's no stereotype when it comes to drug use, especially this epidemic. Any disease, and drug addiction is a disease. Mm -hmm. Any disease is non-discriminatory. So it doesn't matter who you are, uh, everybody, regardless of age, gender, race, walk of life, is uh, has the, the possibility of developing addiction. Now, all day long, we've kind of defined these things. Alcoholism, we've mm -hmm. talked about heroin, we've talked about these opioids. So. What do you want people to know if there's a, a mom out there, a grandmother out there watching saying, I think that I know someone who has a problem, I have a relative. What are signs to look for? How can they step in or can they step in? You know, absolutely. Most people who get help get help because loved ones help them, that loved ones uh, jump in. And there's this old idea that you, you can't get help from addiction until you reach the, the very bottom of your life and that's not true. Uh, early intervention and, and intervention from family members and loved ones is, is critical. And I see all the time people who haven't hit that bottom but who come into treatment, you don't have to have your life completely ruined. So for those loved ones, the signs, if, if anytime you see a person giving up important things in order to obtain or continue to use drugs of any kind, and it doesn't matter what kind they are, the brain doesn't know if the drug you're putting into it was given to you legally or illegally was made in in a you know a pharmacy or, or out on the streets so anytime you see someone their use of mood altering substances of any kind begins to cause problems in their lives mm -hmm. or make their world smaller that's a red flag really quickly if someone's watching how can they get information maybe reach out to uh, the Hanley Center they, they can call us at 1-800 you get well they can go online at mm -hmm. originsrecovery.com at hanleycenter.com um, they there are resources, you know, for those that are in this local area, they mm -hmm. can call us at 841-1000. And, and whether or not they're going to get services at Hanley, we can help them get information and get to where they need to be. Point them in the right direction. Absolutely. Really great information. Thanks so Thank much for joining much us. For um, me. Hopefully, you know, you're able to help even one person. You've made a difference. Thank you. Appreciate it. Steph, over to you.